and gentlemen, it is cabaret time at Café René. May I introduce my wife, Fifi and company. Watch the bar, Yvette. I am off to the butchers.
Oh, look, it's so late. I must meet General von Smelling. He'll be coming from Berlin, and I just must be there to meet him. And um, hi, Oh, no, no, you... Oh, you got it, do you? Oh, 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 oh. You see the problem? I've now got to get the sausage through the cafe and into the kitchen. Oh, my God. I have not put on it the swastika. This will convince Herr Flick that the sausage contains the real portrait of the former Madonna with the big <coughs> boobies by that master knocker painter, Van Gogh. So far, so good. Let us hope that my absence has not been noticed. <laughs> Uh, 
This, these are my waitresses, uh, Mimi <laughs> and Yvette. Uh, oh la la. Am I feeling? <laughs> this is Air Fleet of Yoga Gestapo, one of my best customers. This is his bit of, um, it is off duty lady German soldier, Helga, Helga Gearhart. <laughs> this is our town commandant, Colonel von Strom, a kind man. Strict, of course, but kind. <laughs> this is Captain Alberto Bertarelli, the commander of the brave Italian forces. All 15 of them. <laughs> Hail Mussolini! <laughs> you have many medals. I, a brave war hero. This one for service in Abyssinia, and this one for service in North Africa. What is this one? Oh, this one for service in Fiat. <laughs> Be seated. Hey, where do you wish to sit? One moment. I see you are about to consume a knockfer sausage. I will join you. Well, Rene, could you bring a chair for the general so he may consume this sausage? I regret, Herr General, this will not be possible. We go about to return to my quarters to consume it there. I must to consume it here. This? is a Gestapo sausage. You <laughs> see? It has a little swastika on it. Are you refusing to share with me your sausage? In a word, yes. <laughs> your insubordination has been noted. I should warn you that my godfather is Heinrich Himmler. In that case, if ever he should fall out of favour, expect a threatening phone call about midnight. <laughs> the Gestapo is ex directory. <laughs> I will instead sit at the table of the Colonel and the Captain. Oh, Benny, can you put the chair here at the table of the Colonel and the Captain? Thank you. I will consume their sausage. Eat this sausage? Our oh, sausage? Are you two refusing to share with me your sausage? A very superior officer? A superior officer who could have you sent to the Russian front tomorrow? You cannot or even tonight? Oh. You cannot send me to the Russian front. I am too old. You do not look too old. I am wearing a piglet. <laughs> <laughs> a wig? A bigger surprise I never guess. <laughs> One wonders how you got into the army in the first place. General, we do not happen to fancy a sausage at this precise moment, do we, Captain? No. Later we go to the bring your own sausage party. <laughs> <laughs> I am hungry. I have had a long journey. I wish to consume it now. Bring me a knife. Biggie, the carving knife of the general. I will cut with it. Biggie, behave yourself. <coughs> Penny, what happens when they start to the sausage? They will find some painting. Well, at least it's not the real one. Where is the real one? I'm not going to tell you. Oh dear, I am about to eat my old age pension. <laughs> my God, is this a tough sausage? How old is it? Late 17th century. <laughs> <laughs> Very amusing. These are serious. <laughs> there. For you. And for you. Now, let us eat. May I take it home and eat it later? No. Eat it here. Now. Uh, I was talking to Adolf before I left Berlin. Adolf who? Adolf Hitler! Oh, that's Adolf. How's he going on, eh? Very, very busy. Some think he has bitten off more than he can chew. Oh, I know the feeling. <laughs> but, in spite of the pressure he is under, his first thought is for Eva's birthday present. Who is this Eva? Eva Braun. Ah, I hear of her. She's Hitler's bit of nookie. <laughs> what present is he going to buy her? A portrait of the fallen Madonna with the big boobies. <laughs> I think there's going to be one booby missing. There's <laughs> <laughs> in this sausage. It is the war, General. Perhaps we should not eat any more. We must keep a fit to invade England. 
certain set of it, you've obviously been given an inferior sausage. I have been instead commandeered this Gestapo sausage. Is this the way the glorious German army treats a lady? I have purchased this sausage to consume with this poor, starving, hungry girl. Oh, oh dear. Oh. My poor, groaning stump. Well, <laughs> 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 in that case, you may keep half. There is no painting. No My painting. sausage is empty. Oh. I have been tilted. <laughs> where is the painting that was in my sausage in your kitchen? Edith, where is that fake sausage which is in, in the sausage in the kitchen? <laughs> it's my mistake. I must have given it to the colonel and the captain. That is right. The colonel and the captain have it. Will there be anything else, Edith? Nine, nine. Colonel, captain. Uh, there has been a sick who appeared to have mine. My sausage, my sausage is in pieces. There are all pieces missing. It's a bit. Honey, bring me sticking plaster, meat and thread, and glue. I must... Oh, where are all the pieces missing? My canock first has been connected. <laughs> The Gestapo are recruiting every, very unstable types of Germans these days. Lieutenant Gruber! Yes, Herr General. Escort Herr Flick back to his quarters. Yes, Herr General. Good, now they're gone. We can enjoy ourselves. I will tell you a very funny story. It will make you laugh. Have you heard the latest stupid Englishman story? How do you make an Englishman burn his ear? I do not know. How do you make an Englishman burn his ear? Telephone him while he's ironing his shirt. <laughs> In general, the telephone lines to England have been cut. That is the funniest joke I have heard in all the war and very well told. Now you tell me. <coughs> what about this? The British have a very good war record. They do? What is it? Vera Lynn singing the white cliffs of Dora! <laughs> <laughs> Captain, it is your turn. I, I no make of the jokes, I make of the love. For the general, you make of the joke. That is an order. Well, I have it, I'm a joke. I, I, I think you me. I, I have it. I do the sleight of hand. I take away the cloth on the table and I'll leave all of the things in place. How about that, eh? I have heard of this, but I have never seen it done. I need plenty glasses, otherwise it is too easy. More glasses for the table, Trick. Remy, you must not do this. Why not? Let them enjoy themselves. What is the loss of a few glasses? Oh, no. Stop, sir. Captain, Colonel, I mean, we cannot do the captain's party trick. I am only a poor man. We cannot afford the glasses. There is no danger. Bring the glasses. If they break, these two will pay. Here, give me the tray. All OK? Now I need a roll on the drums. We don't have drums. Use the tambourines. Cassie, do you not know another trick? No. This is a my best. It will kill you. Go. One, two, three. Effect! Party Lincoln! For me! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.